remember I stoked I was coming out here. Oops. Fuck. I volunteered to train a fucking dog. And they show up with this fucking puppy. Fuck's sakes, man. <sighs> Roommate's fucking crackhead. She's come here not to want to work for fucking money. And <clears throat> somebody who lives in this house borrowed the brand new neighbor's fucking bank card and didn't bring it back. So she came here all fucked up and she was sent up here to knock on the fucking door. And when I took issue with it, the fucking, this idiot decides to tell me it's my problem. I'm like, okay, you invite this bitch into my fucking apartment and never mind I got this fucking dog just barking non-fucking stop. Now, again, I gotta fucking move out. Like, fuck. I don't know, man. Her grandkids were like saying, I think you smoke crack again, Granny. And then a bunch of money went missing. And like, this chick's fucking delusional, man. Like, I complained to the, the, the house owner. And then she called me back, tried to give me shit, but I'm like, dude, I already approached you on this shit, like, and you fucking communicated that you were not interested in fucking rendering, your, rendering yourself less of a fucking nuisance. What do you want? When I called, you said that none of this shit was going to happen, and it's happening, and then you go and get a second 200 pound dog to stuff in a fucking 800 square foot apartment with you and another fucking person. Fuck. <sighs> so I gotta move dudes. and I've been going through it like, is it me? I'm like, no, no, it's not me. Like, fuck. I did everything I could to render this place like fucking livable. Like you're not gonna find anyone to fucking live in here with this shit going on. It smells like a fucking barn. I'm never gonna be able to bring a woman in here. Like, fuck. <sighs> yep. That's it though. Fuck. Fuck, dudes. Pray for me.